Mount Wellington dominates the skyline in Hobart, here in southern Tasmania. But when I was up on the summit a couple of weeks ago, I was reminded of the many trails on the hills over the other side of the river. So that's where I decided to go this week, over the bridge, along the river and over to Meehan Range. But first I had to pick out the right shoes, because, well, I'll show you. I normally wear something a bit more minimal, but yesterday I'd found these in the back of the cupboard and decided to give them a try. It was only after a seven mile run that I remembered why they were in the back of the cupboard. Out, 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 out. So before I set out today, I had some patching up to do. I think the best running shoe is the one you don't know you're wearing. If you can feel an arch, a heel or a toe, then it'll be a problem at the end of a long run. I like flexible shoes with a flat footbed, but today I went with a stiffer Innovate because of my blister. Okay, so we are on the way. We're looking for Flo, who is out running and I'm returning the favour because she followed me down to Peppermint Bay a couple of weeks ago. And we're going to try and catch up with her somewhere heading over to the Mean Range. And I think, all being well, she should be somewhere here now on the, on the bridge. I usually prefer running alone, but it was nice to have a support crew for a change. Here she comes! My sense of direction is not great at the best of times, but I found my way over the hill and down to the next bay. This must be Shag Bay. Ah. Well, we're here at Geoston Bay, uh, down by the water on the, the beginning here of the track to Shag Bay. And we're just waiting for Flo, and I've just seen her come across the, the Yacht Club park, uh, car park there, so I don't think she's going to be too far away. Well, we're here in Shag Bay, it flows over the other side of the, the river there, or the bay here. It's just a really secluded little bay, pretty much in the middle of Hobart, so it's pretty amazing really. You don't see a lot of people out here, dog walkers maybe, a few yachts occasionally moored out. I think it's fairly deepish water there. Sun's just about to head down over the, the back off the hill there. But it's been a good day, I think Flo's been out for about, maybe somewhere around about 20 kilometres now, and she's still looking pretty good. And I think she's going to be coming back down this way before she heads over the top of the, the hills behind us and down into the Million Range. So we'll maybe hang around here and try and catch her on the way back. Mina? Yeah? We, uh, we need some chocolate, do you think? Yeah. yeah. I've always enjoyed these trails and headed up the single track and did a loop around the summit before retracing the steps back to the bay. Okay, we're still waiting for flows. So I thought I'd just show you guys what we're filming with here today. We've got the drone with us, of course, but we've got the big Canon here. We've got a Canon 5D Mark IV um, set up on uh, recording at 4K. That's a 4K resolution at 25 frames per second with a 11 to 24 on the front, which gives us a nice wide angle when we're trying to um, 
to film some running shots and frame up those. So that's what we've got, fairly heavy piece of equipment, not the sort of thing that you want to carry around with you most of the time. So what are the shoes like? Uh, that you picked the right ones? I think I did, yeah. Do I've been running now for 20 kilometers and feel the uh, blisters. I feel the blister a little bit. It is good. I think it's good. Excellent. Alrighty. Well, you've still uh, got a ways to go. So yes. hop up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I took you. a shortcut over the hill while Nord drove around to meet me at the start of the Meehan range. So a bit of driving to do and then we'll hopefully catch up with Flo somewhere over the bank. So, but she's looking good, looking good. All seems to be going well.